distribution day. This is the day that we put the cash into our envelopes. We've got it all laid out here and we're going to talk a little bit about each of our categories. The thing that we made a mistake with when we were first doing our cash budgets is we didn't have enough categories. I think it's really important that you separate out, like for example, your food from your in your groceries from your paper products in your groceries because if it's all lumped in together with dog food and shampoo and everything's in your grocery categories you could stock up on kleenex and then not eat the last week of the month so we go to the bank with our little uh ransom note and we tell them exactly what we want to get what denomination so we break it out into hundreds twenties tens fives and ones and um then when we get that back, and as I go through the budget, I have a little line where I mark, you know, okay, so we're getting $150 for this category. How much do I want in fives, tens, and twenties to make up that amount? So that, and then we, we get those denominations, like for instance, in groceries, it's $500. We could get that all in five one hundreds, but I get some fives, tens, ones, and twenties just so that when you're at the store, say you went to Walmart, um, and you probably bought some things that weren't groceries, you can make change between the categories to come out even or close to even, um, you know, just round the change um, and exchange it between the envelopes so that when you get to the register, you can just hand her one wad of money and not be fumbling through your envelopes. Uh, a lot of times we buy stuff online, and so then at home she's going to want to make um, exchanges between envelopes if she bought multiple categories of things in one purchase as well as then um, we return it to the bank we bank at commerce is where we get the cash from so our envelope says return to commerce so if i spent paid for target.com 20 bucks then i'll take that money out of the proper category and put it back into this envelope now we don't actually take the money back to the bank we um save it in here for next month and then we subtract the amount of cash that's in here from what we withdraw from the bank for next time so starting out first category um first what i did i we i've got little uh sticky notes and then i've got envelopes and these are in addition to these are kind of the ones that we lock away in the safe because they're they're not monthly uh, re recurring they're recurring but not on a monthly basis necessarily like so for example the appliance fund we okay. know we're going to have to replace our appliances at some point so we're putting a small amount of money every month into that envelope i don't carry that around with me in my purse it stays in our safe because then you'd be tempted to if you had a, something you're like i really need this item and then you pull money out of that and then you forget and then when it comes time to need a re appliance repair replaced or repaired you don't have the money to do it so, so first category we had is the remodel fund, which was the kind of the reason for the freeze. We're trying to build that up. So we, what did we have? This Thirteen dollars. This month we have Thirteen dollars <laughs> because everything was there was there was some expense. Oh, that's what it was. The gas bill. So then the next category I have is uh, replacing the appliances. Have eighty-two dollars in that um, smartphone replacement. Because every about two years we replace this one of our two smartphones or work. daughter's phone or whatever, so um, just put thirty dollars into that and that it's probably not enough but it's better than nothing and so I just kind of leave that category alone. Groceries we have five hundred dollars as they said. Uh, that's just out. food that's, and that's for eight of us and that's for the entire month. Then in addition to that, I have a lunch category where um, I buy stuff to keep at the office because if I leave it at home the kids will eat it all and so I have like a package of lunch meat and some bread and then you know which I think he's amazing butter. he does that all for $30 for the month and you pretty much get it all at Aldi right mm -hmm. yeah pretty much all um, then we got fitness and supplements that includes things like protein powders protein bars um, like drink mix Gatorade kind of things because Angela needs that sometimes for her health um, we also have a vitamins category, um, and we kind of interchange. I kind of interchange those, but I try to Do you keep have the them same separate. Amount of I, I don't. I have actually have thirty in supplements because I had to take cut it down. It was right. one of the that ones that got low for what got, we really do. Yeah. yeah, it got cut this month because 
and vitamins. But that is one of the categories that we can cut out if we have to. It's not exactly. We, it's we still have food. So and vitamins is six fifty this month. I think they're both set to be about sixty or seventy five. I think it's, this one's supposed to be sixty, and that one's supposed to be seventy five. But we, did you but reduce then, them because of our gas bill? Is that yeah? The other? Just just because. Of because well, because we don't have enough in the budget to yeah. we have, there's so many things we're trying to do that you know, I kind of have to prioritize and I say this is important because we do do it uh, you know at some point we do buy vitamins so I got to put something in there but at the same time it's not as high a priority as say something else the kids are doing that we have to pay for kind of a thing so um, eating out is a, another category separate. Um, have thirty dollars in there, and, and this is one of the categories for the spending freeze that's not going in my purse. It normally would go in my purse, but I'm going to put it in the safe, and that way, if I can keep from spending it, it could go towards our our goal, which is the remodel fund. And I usually break that out. Sometimes I give myself ten dollars in my wallet and her twenty. Sometimes I give all thirty to her. Just kind of depends on what I expect to happen during the month, um, and you know what, what kind of running around crazy we think we'll, we'll be doing next category is clothing and we have 150 in there and that's another category that kind of goes up and down depending you know it's a zero based budget so anytime a budget an item we can't really control like the electricity bill or the gas bill goes up then we have to take that money out of somewhere so that's one of the categories that might flux this is also one of the categories that i try not to keep with me in my purse so that I'm not tempted to spend it frivolously. It's for eight people, it's like less than 20 bucks a month and then I have to save that up for when the kids get a growth spurt. We mentioned vitamins, the next one, and then the next one is hygiene, which includes things like Kleenexes, shampoo, uh, toilet paper, um, Deodorant, deodorant toothpaste. toothpaste, all that kind of all that kind of stuff. Anything related to hygiene and keeping ourselves healthy, um, in that in around the house kind of expenses. Um, can't think of anything else. Toilet paper. I said toilet paper. Oh. Um, so and then if if we're out of toilet paper, it's down to the wipes. So you know. Um, next category, I have broken out several for school. Um, we have the yearbook and the school pictures. Um, and, and um, same way with the extracurricular, which is like when they're going, got sports activities that they've got to, or a field trip that they've got to pay uh, dues for, and again, smaller bills so that we can do that because we need three dollars. It's this usually we remember while we're driving on the way to school, and we have to quick throw them some cash for that. So so yeah, um, school lunches, same thing. And we one. save it. I mean, it'd be nice if they could just be like, ooh, it's pizza day, I'd like to buy pizza. But normally that one to two lunches a month is when they call us and say, I left my lunch on the counter, and that saves up a trip running up to school if we can just say, just buy your lunch and we'll bring the cash in tomorrow. So then we got gifts, and gifts are broken out. You want to talk about yeah, that? Yeah, so we have, um, it's 90 bucks a month, and every month it's a little different how we use it. This month we have a birthday girl, so... 40 bucks is for her birthday and 50 bucks is going for Christmas. So if we have, um, we also happen to have a baby shower this month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to need $10 for that. So, um, so now you're going to have to come up with something. So now I'm going to have to fix my Christmas budget because that was kind of a surprise. So basically then the Christmas money goes into the safe and we build it up all year round and I start shopping like October. I have a separate paper for Christmas where I have broken out every person we're buying for including teachers and Christmas cards and stuff so I know exactly how much money I need for that and how much I can spend on each thing. So that's where that budget comes. Okay, so then the next category is miscellaneous. Um, we got, I think we got $75 in that and that's pretty much everything else around the house besides hygiene. Paper for the printer, ink, uh, printing pictures, um, yeah, any, any dusting little, spray. Is it, that it where the cleaning be, supplies come from? Yeah, I think that's where you get it most of the time. Uh -huh. That or hygiene just depends on. Yeah, they kind of like go together in my mind. Like and, it's, yeah. the miscellaneous is kind of a bridge between hygiene, blow money, which we'll get to in a minute, and just anything that might come up that you just didn't think about that. So the hygiene and miscellaneous and blow money are three of the categories that normally would go in my purse and they're going into the safe this month for the spending freeze. I'm going to try really hard not to buy anything. Okay, 
accounting software is the next one that includes um, we use Quicken to, to manage your business accounts and, and be ready for taxes. Um, it also includes um, updates, to parallels. updates to parallels, any any of the software on our computers that then we need to run that. And normally um, this, he's only got $11 in here right now, and normally that's one of the categories that builds up over the year. Yeah, it we just goes into the envelope and then, well, it taxes, the, the tax software that we use online taxes. Which the, is an expense that kind of happens in January, so So that we'll one will, it will expend yeah. it, and it will, like I said, when I pull it out of the envelope, because most of those are purchased online, put it back in the return to commerce. But that way, that money's not sitting in the bank account all year long where you've said mentally in your budget it's there but then if you were tempted because you the bank account seems to get bigger as all these things build up and you go oh i've got all this money in the checking account i'm okay to go buy whatever and then when it comes time to actually buy all these items that are recurring once a year you don't have the money in your account or it brings you well, close. our checking account doesn't bear interest anyway so it's no. no difference to us financially whether it's in the safe or it's in the checking account. So. okay next one was blow money uh, for angela i get my blow money separately it comes direct deposit he's to a, a saver account. i'm a spender so i get mine in cash and i spend it every month and that just kind of makes me feel a little better even though our budget's really tight he has his goes to great straight to a savings checking account and he saves it up over time and then buys something really nice for himself. So then we got violin lessons, which is a lot of money. <laughs> and then we got uh, our scouts and I talked about that one. The, um, I break it out into the stuff we do monthly and then the stuff that we're saving up for annually. Um, okay, did we talk about camp, the camps? No, not yet. So then we have um, our camp, our kids like to go to church camp in the summer and each kid goes for one week. And so we have a small amount that we save every month so that we can pay their registration fees. And then also for registration fees for a family camp, which is also a church camp. Instead of just being for kids, it's for the whole family. And now to make this real, which it was, I put all this stuff out and I ended up $10 extra. So we don't know where that And I don't know. So that's... Part of why I lay it out this way, and then I can go back through and I'll count each category and, and check it if to the budget. If we'd already put it in the envelopes, it would be in here with, with, with the money that we've been saving up for months. And which then I would have be... no clue really what, what was exactly supposed to be in there. So I lay it all out, and that's just kind of a technique that I've come to over time because that was the only way I could check it to make sure. Well, was, I tell you what, if we find out it's like... We don't know. Put it in the remodel fund. That's yeah. our goal envelope for this okay. one. Okay. 